Good morning. I'm Technician Jake Casillas with the Denver Police Communications Bureau. And on behalf of Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas, I welcome each of you to this promotion ceremony. Today, 17 SWAR members of the department are being promoted to the ranks of Deputy Chief, Division Chief, Commander, Lieutenant, and Sergeant. And we are also recognizing five members of our professional staff who have recently been promoted or hired to the position of Director. These 22 members of the department seated here today have devoted a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy to get to this very moment and are now being recognized for their skills and accomplishments. We look forward to seeing them continue building their legacies in their new leadership roles. And so far in their Denver police careers, they have already served the Denver community for a combined 322 years. At this time, will you please stand if you are able for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. After Mark. Hey, you good? Oh. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain, Rabbi Steve K. Let us bow our heads for a moment of prayer and thanksgiving. In pure K, I vote the teaching of our ancestors, an important Jewish text, we are taught these words. Who is wise? The one who learns from all others, as is written in Psalm 119. I have gained understanding from all of my teachers. And in Proverbs 16, one who is slow to anger and is better than the mighty, and one whose temper is controlled than the one who captures the city. This morning we gather to honor these wise women and men of our Denver Police Department as they assume new leadership roles. We honor our new Deputy Chief Montoya and our new Division Chief Dodge, four new commanders, five directors, five lieutenants, and six sergeants, all under the command of our Chief of Police, Ron Thomas. Eternal God, we ask that these men and women continue to use their knowledge, street experience, and keen sense of values as they lead our department in the months and years to come. We honor these new leaders this day with joy and love and your eternal blessings. We are assembled here along with their co-workers, family and friends, our mayor and distinguished guests, to acknowledge this milestone in their lives. Each and every day, all the members of our Denver Police Department do their best to improve the quality of life in our city. Our officers give unselfishly of themselves to serve and to protect our great city. May these newly promoted officers go forth with your eternal protection, with the shield of your love and the support of their loved ones. We pray that those who are under their supervision will see them as leaders who exemplify the values of justice and fairness, who will have understanding and compassion as they influence the lives of our officers, their families, and the citizens of the city and county of Denver. May all who are assembled this day be blessed in your holy name, and together let us say, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi King. Please be seated. At this time, I'll invite Mayor Mike Johnson to address our promotees and guests. Good morning. It is an honor to be with you this morning, an honor to be here to celebrate uh, the incredible accomplishments that are represented on this stage today. I will say that the most basic commitment every civilization makes is public safety. A promise we make to each other is that when you are in your moment of greatest need, your greatest terror, the most alone, you'll be able to reach out 
and someone will show up who can help you. And that person will show up without prejudice, without judgment, without bias, will be able to meet you in that moment of struggle and say, whatever your need is now, I will carry you from where you are to where you need to go. That is the most selfless of all commitments. It is the most fundamental human instinct. It is the deepest desire to help and to serve. And in your context, it is often the most difficult commitment to keep because you find people at their toughest, sometimes at their worst, uh, and you have the decency and the belief to support them and carry them through whatever they may be facing. Today is about celebrating lives of service. This is not a job, this is a calling. You entered this work because you believed fundamentally in the importance of it and you stay in it regardless of the challenges uh, because that calling was so powerful. Maybe none more powerful than Sergeant Dodge's story he shared with me this morning, which is even in the moment when he had an entire vehicle on his leg and knew that he might lose that leg, his first decision was to take off his uniform himself and hand it to someone else and say, keep that because I'm going to need it back. Because when I get through this, I will come back to serve this community again, over and over and over again, because that is what I do. That's what I was built to do. That's what the Lord put me on this planet to do, and that's what I will keep doing. And I will do it today by showing up to support my wife, who will be only the fourth woman in 165 years to this force to bear the title of chief. Those are the lives of service that we are here to celebrate today. And I just want to say I consider myself lucky to be able to serve with you all. Uh, in this work together. So thank you for what you've done for this city, for me, for my family, and for the 750,000 people out there today who know they can live a life of safety and security and stability in this city because of your service. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Dustin. Executive Director Saldati will now share his thoughts on today's promotions and appointments. Good morning, everyone. Um, what a great and joyous occasion and an honor to be with you all here today. Um, I was trying to think about what I would share with you all and um, couldn't really find the words. This is a, a pretty special uh, promotion ceremony for me. I know many of these uh, promotees. I've been able to work with them throughout uh, my career here in Denver and, and just find them to be truly exceptional leaders. Uh, but one thing that I'd be remiss is if I didn't thank you all for being here. Um, you are the support system. You are the tough love. You have helped each one of these promotees get to where they are. Without their family, friends, loved ones, they wouldn't be where they're at. They wouldn't have the success and they wouldn't be able to do what they do. I also thank you for your shared sacrifice. Having someone uh, that you love uh, in this calling in this duty is not easy. Every time you hear something horrible happening in, our, happening in our city, you worry about that loved one. And so I thank you for that sacrifice. I know these new promotees will miss birthdays, special occasions, um, but uh, I really appreciate that support that you have provided them. Congratulations to each one of you. Um, you all have not only answered the call to serve, our city, our great city and community. You've answered the call to serve your peers, people in the department, and to lead. Leadership isn't easy. And make no mistake, we are currently a community in crisis. There are a number of emergencies going on in our, in our community, a number of emergencies going on around the world. Yet these folks choose to not only serve and answer the call, but they choose to lead. And I'll tell you, one of the biggest uh, responsibilities you will have is taking care of your people. Our employees are what makes this department so great. That commitment to serve is what makes this community safe. And be able to serve folks because, you know, they're part of the community too. When I say communities in crisis, that includes our employees. Our employees that have been through count, countless emergency declarations since the pandemic that has had to withstand numbers of change with all the pressures that are going on in our society right now. Yet they continue to come out, serve, and risk their lives for the public good. Thank you. Your leadership is needed now more than ever. 
and I appreciate your dedication and willingness to serve. Thank you. Thank you, Executive Director Salmonti. And now, Chief Thomas would like to share his words of encouragement with the leaders being promoted today. Good morning. Uh, I want to thank uh, the mayor and the executive director for their for their words of inspiration. I'm going to be quick, though, um, and, and not just because they have said just about everything that I that I would have wanted to say, but because, um, like many of you, I'm I'm really excited. You know, we're going to be promoting a number of individuals today, very special occasion, and I want to get to the part that we all came here to see. Um, but first, I too want to thank everyone uh, for, for being here on such a fantastic occasion. Um, and I want to give special recognition to the friends and family of all of those that are being uh, appointed today. You see, nobody makes it up on the stage or in those seats right there by themselves. Each one of these individuals has somebody, uh, has a support system that's behind them that, uh, that helps support them, that gives them encouragement, that you know, that steps in and fills the gap and takes up the slack when they're committing themselves to the process. And so on behalf of each of them, I want to thank you for, for that everlasting support. Now, I want to congratulate all these uh, promoters, but I also want to acknowledge that, uh, that we're going to be um, uh, recognizing five uh, civilian professional staff directors. And uh, that, that's important because, you know, they all hold the rank of, um, it's essentially the equivalent to a commander, a division, or a district commander position. And they each have uh, skill sets and, and, and expertise that is just as valuable as any sworn member of our force. And so I think it's important to recognize their contributions, which are uh, the reason why we're such a, a fantastic department. Um, you know, when I, usually when we promote a group this big, I customize my remarks for each rank, but I really want to just uh, leave you all with one message um, because each of you will be um, engaging with the individuals that will be working with you. And so the, the, the words that I want to leave you with are, is that leaders cannot make positive changes within their own community until those in their span of care, and I, I want everyone to take note that it's a span of care and not a span of control feel valued and appreciated and are treated with dignity and respect. And so, as you go forth, please remember that more important than any of the decisions that you make is how, the, how you make those that are in your span of care feel. So congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Now, with the assistance of Mayor Johnson, Executive Director Saldate, and Chief Thomas, we will begin our batch and certificate presentations. When each team is called, the officer and director, and those who will be pinning on the new batch are invited to come up to the stage, or if you're not able to the front of the stage. Those who will be joining their officer or director on stage are asked to please meet with technician Gus in the family station area to the right of the stage before your officer's name is called. The order of officers is being called in your programs. Please note that the department photographers will be taking individual pictures of each officer during batch and certificate presentations. Deputy Chief Joseph A. Montoya, Jr. He is a graduate of the FBI, a graduate of the FBI National Academy. Deputy Chief Montoya's previous DP assignments include District Four Patrol Detective, Sergeant and Vice Narcotics, Internal Affairs Lieutenant, Major Crimes Captain, District Four Commander, District Three Commander, Internal Affairs Commander, and Deputy Chief of Investigations. He has earned multiple community commendations and commendatory letters three merit awards, and one distinguished service cross. Joining him are his wife, Joanne, his father, Joe, and his mother, Carmen, daughter, Joelle, and grandson, Emery. Depending on his new badge is his father, Joe.
Divisorship made in Dodge. began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 1998. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting from the University of Colorado and a Master of Science in Organizational Leadership from the Colorado State University Global Campus. The reason Chief Dodge's previous CP assignments include District Patrol, District 1 Sergeant, Records and ID Section Sergeant, District 3 Lieutenant, Special Operations Lieutenant, Admin Administrative Management Unit Commander, Operations Support Commander, District 3 Commander, City and Security Protection Commander, and Internal Affairs Commander. Her new assignment will be Division Chief of Administration. Joining her are her husband, Sergeant Justin Dodge, her kids Morgan, Peyton, and Brody Dodge. Pinning off her new badge is her entire family. We, are, we would also like to take this time to acknowledge Sergeant, Sergeant Dodge and wish him well with his continued recovery. Game Unit Detective, District 1 Investigations, District 1 Narcotics Unit, District 4 Sergeant, District 1 Impact Team Sergeant, Major Crime Sergeant, Robbery Unit Sergeant, Cold Case Unit Sergeant, Homicide Unit Sergeant, Hostage Negotiations Team Sergeant, Major Crimes Lieutenant, and Airport Bureau Lieutenant. His new assignment will be District 1 Commander. Joining him on stage are his wife, Janelle Ledger, his three daughters, DPD professional staff member, Hans Sol, DPD Corporal Sadie Damien, and Dr. Samantha Legend. Depending on his new badge is his wife, Janelle Legend. Okay. One, two, one more. Gotcha. Commander Stephen O. Addison, Jr. <laughs> Commander Addison began serving with the Denver Police Department on September 1, 1995. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Administration of Justice with a minor in Public Law and a minor in Sociology from the University of Wyoming and a Master of Science in Criminal Justice from the University of Colorado, Denver. His previous CP assignments include District 6 Patrol, Gang Unit Officer, Sergeant at the Radio Room, District 6 Sergeant, Night Shift Sergeant, Major Crime Sergeant, Aide to the Division Chief of Investigation, District 6 Lieutenant, Robbery Homicide Section Lieutenant, Internal Affairs Lieutenant, Counter Threat Section Lieutenant. He has earned one Distinguished Service Cross, one Licensing Award, four Police Merit Awards, two Community Service Awards, one Citizen Appreciates Police Award, one Chief Unit Citation, eight Official Commendations, 30 Commendatory Letters, and 26 Letters of Appreciation. His new assignment will be Eternal Fair Bureau Commander. Joining him on stage and to pin his new badge is his wife, Joey Pants. <laughs> Commander Michelle Fullman. <laughs> Commander Fullman began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 13, 2008. 
after 24 years of prior law enforcement service with other agencies. She holds a master's degree in public administration from the American Military University. My performance previous CV assignments include District 3, District 4 Patrol, Academy and Firearms Instructor, Domestic Violence Unit, Crisis Negotiator, Internal Affairs Lieutenant, and Director of Training. She has earned four commendations. Her new assignment will be the Diversity, Equity, and Support Bureau Commander. Joining her on stage to pin on her new badge is her wife, Rianne Martinez. Commander Joe Bell is not able to join us today, but we want to acknowledge his promotion. His new assignment will be District 3 Commander. Today, we are also acknowledging members of our professional staff who have recently been hired or promoted to their respective roles as Bureau Directors. Director of Community Engagement Bureau, Marie Davis. Director Dawes began serving with the Denver Police Department on March 10, 2015, and was promoted to her role as Director of the Community Engagement Bureau on May 1, 2023. Her prior position with DPD was Program Administrator for the Volunteers and Police Service Program. She holds a, ba she holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Management from George Fox University. Joining her on stage are her husband, Eric Davis, daughter, Michaela Davis, and son, Trenton Davis. Oh, Strategic Initiatives Bureau Director, Philip Gonshan. <laughs> Director Gonshan joined the Denver Police Department on October 2, 2023. His prior occupation was County Manager of Southern County, Colorado, and has more than 20 years of prior law enforcement experience. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration, and a master's degree in public administration from California State University, Long Beach. Joining him on stage is his wife, Stephanie Janice. Director James Sonner of the Denver Police Department on July 10, 2023. Her prior occupation was Director of Public Safety for the Geospatial Group. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Professional Interdisciplinary Studies with an emphasis in English and Business from Jackson State University. She is currently completing the final requirements to obtain a Master of Science degree in Crime Analysis from Arizona State University. Crisis Services Bureau Director, Chris Richardson. <laughs> Director Richardson joined the Nurem Police Department on July 31, 2023. His prior occupation was Director of the Mental Health Center of Denver, where he played an integral role with the STAR program and the DPD Correspondent program. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology from Western State University, and a master's in social work from the Metropolitan State University of Denver. Joining him on stage are his wife, Ashley Lund Richardson, and his kids. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. One more. 
one two steps. Great smile. Director of the Communication Bureau, Doug Shen. <laughs> Director Shedman began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 29, 2015, and was promoted to his role as Director of the Communication Bureau on July 9, 2023. His prior positions with DPD were Marketing and Communication Specialist and Marketing and Communication Manager. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications from Northern Kentucky University. Joining him on stage are his wife, Sarah, and children, Miami, Jackson, and Lauren. Crash your phone. <laughs> Lieutenant Coxigan began serving for the Denver Police Department on April 23, 2001. Lieutenant Coxigan's previous DPA assignments include District 1 Sergeant and District 4 Sergeant. He has earned the Citizens of Appreciate Police Award, the Community Service Award, two Star Awards, and the Distinguished Service Cross. His new assignment will be District 2 Lieutenant. Joining him on stage are his wife, Samantha, his sons, Caleb, Colin, and Quinn, his mom, Deborah, and his dad, retired Denver Police Captain John Custody. Depending on his new badge, it's his dad. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Colorado. Yes, Lieutenant Molino's previous DP assignments include District 6 Patrol, Downtown Motorcycle Unit, Crimes Against Persons Assault Unit, Sex Crimes Unit, Homicide Unit, and Internal Affairs Division. She has done several DP accommodations. Her new assignment will be District 2 Lieutenant. Joining her on stage to paint her new badge are her husband, Dwayne Molino, and daughter, Jordan Molino. His previous DP assignments included District 6 Patrol, District 3 Corporal, District 6 Sergeant, District 6 Train Sergeant, Internal Affairs Sergeant. He has earned the Medal of Valor. His new assignment will be the Training Bureau Lieutenant. Joining him on stage are his wife, Lindsay, and his children, Jack and Kate. Depending on his new badge is his son, Jack.
Lieutenant Aaron James Caper. <laughs> Lieutenant Caper began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 10, 2005, after six years of private law enforcement service with another agency. He holds a Bachelor of Science in Human Health Justice from the Metropolitan State University of Denver. Lieutenant Cater's previous DP assignments include District 1 Patrol, District 3 Patrol, Vice and Narcotics Bureau Detective, Human Trafficking Unit Detective, and Excise and Licenses Unit Sergeant. He has earned the Police Merit Award, Community Service Award, Officer of the Year Award, and two Chief Unit Citations. His new assignment will be Lieutenant with Special Investigation Bureau Counter Threat Section. Joining him on stage are his wife, Pamela, his daughters, Ruby, Lucy, and Sophia. Depending on his new badge, is his wife. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications from Metropolitan State University of Denver. Lieutenant Franklin's previous EPA assignments include District 2 Patrol, Sex Crimes Unit Detective, District 2 Sergeant, Missing and Exploited Person Sergeant, and Internal Affairs Sergeant. She is in the Star Award. Her new assignment will be District 1 Lieutenant. Joining her on stage are her husband, DP Sergeant Curtis Franklin, and her father, her father retired DP Detective Steve McKenna. Pinning on a new badge is her father. <laughs> Sergeant Brent Christopher Coles. <laughs> Sergeant Coles began serving with the Denver Police Department on July 29, 2013, after eight years of prior law enforcement service with other agencies. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from the University of Wisconsin, Platteville. His previous DP assignments include District 2 Patrol, District 2 Impact Team, District 2 Narcotics, Uniform Support Team, and Metro SWAT. He has earned the District 2 Top Cop Award and several letters of commendation. His new assignment will be District 4 Sergeant. Joining him on stage are his wife, Sarah Coles, and his parents, Dan and Robin Coles. Depending on his new badge, is his wife. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from the University of Cincinnati. His previous DP assignments include District 2 Patrol, Gay Unit, SORT Team, Marijuana Unit Detective, and the Violent Criminal Enterprise Task Force Detective. He has earned two Star Awards, a Preservation of Life Award, and two Letters of Commendation. His new assignment will be District 6 Sergeant. Joining him on stage are his wife, Amy, his daughters, Audrey and Ella, his dad and sister. Okay. Pinning on his new badge are his daughters. Gotcha. 
Sergeant Jeremy King. Sergeant King began serving with the Denver Police Department on April 4, 2005. He holds an associate's degree in electronic and electrical engineering from Southeast Community College in Milford, Nebraska. His previous EP assignments include District 2 Patrol, District 3 Patrol, and Technical Electronic Support Unit Detective. He has earned multiple star awards. His new assignment will be District 6 Sergeant. Joining him on stage are his wife, Caitlin King, children, Ryder, and Dee King. Depending on his new batch, is his wife. Okay. You can't hide back there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's got a boss One, two, three. Gotcha. Sergeant Jared Worsh. Sergeant Worsh began serving with the Denver Police Department on August 3, 2015. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in History and Secondary Education from the University of Northern Colorado. His previous EP assignments include District 2 Patrol and District 2 Corps. He has earned a Meritorious Service Medal. His new assignment will be District 1. Joining him on stage are his wife, Chandra, and his father, Terry. Depending on his new badge, is his father. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Criminal Justice from the University of North Colorado. Sergeant Peterson's previous CP assignments include District 3 Patrol. His new assignment will be District 6. Joining him on stage to pin his new badge is his wife, Didi, and Boran Pora. Sergeant Zachary Patrick is not able to join us today, but is also being acknowledged for his promotion. His new assignment will be District 1 Sergeant. Please join me again in congratulating these 22 deserving officers and professional staff. if we didn't pause for a moment and ask for continued blessings for you, Sergeant Justin Dodge, because it takes a community of prayer and a community of people who are standing with you and been around with you and the family. And we are so honored of your presence. And um, we know it's, it is a painful and yet a joyous time that you are with us. And we salute you and we're thankful for doing that. I'm going to take a moment of rabbinic personal privilege before I do that. I remember when you became sergeant, I was standing on the stage, and 
I didn't know that you were married to Megan at the time, and you, she was the first one up, and she gave you a kiss, and I said, I don't get those things when I offer a blessing. <laughs> so I always remember that as a very sweet moment when you received becoming a sergeant. Let us pray, Lord of the universe. We've been witness this last hour to seeing the pride of these men and women who will assume new roles of leadership in our Denver Police Department. We ask for continued blessings for them, their beloved families, and for all of the other officers and support staff who diligently serve our department every day. May blessings of wisdom and leadership continually be bestowed upon Chief Thomas and his command staff as they lead our Denver Police Department. Let us always be mindful and thankful that we live in this great nation built upon the foundation of freedom and personal liberties. During these turbulent and political times and acts of barbaric acts known by terrorists, we are thankful for the freedom that we have as Americans. We ask for your continued blessings and the safety of our American troops throughout the world to protect our nation and all that represents our values. Eternal one of blessings, may we continue to gather at times like these to celebrate the joy of life, opportunities for growth, and may our cup of life always overflow with your sweetness and your blessings. And as a sacred community, let us say, Amen. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we invite you to enjoy refreshments provided by the Office of the Chief of Police. They are set up here to the left of the stage. We would also ask all our recent promotees, uh, directors and uh, director appointed, appointed directors to uh, meet up at the stage for a group photo after this. In closing, achieving promotion within the Denver Police Department is an exceptional accomplishment. These 22 members of the department standing in front of you today have demonstrated through their hard work that they are ready and committed to leading others in fulfilling the mission of the Denver Police Department. Again, congratulations. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you all for attending.